On the first day of making my foil relief, I made a very simple design. It's got big areas. I don't have too many small spaces in here. And now I'm going to transfer my design onto the cardboard. So I'm going to redraw this and really try to fill the space because the smaller I make it, the more difficult this will be. So I'm going to make sure that my, my drawing almost touches the sides. Okay, and then I have got his little head sticking up here and then his little arms and legs coming out. If you notice, I don't have too much free space left. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Once I have it transferred on here, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I need to put my name on the back. This is Paris. And then I'm going to trace over this carefully with glue. So I have my glue here. And I'm going to go really slowly and trace over my design with my glue. I'm going to try to stay on my lines. I don't need to be totally perfect, but I do want to try to stay as true to the picture as I can. I just have my little head left. And once I have this completely outlined, I'm going to be using this string. So the string I'm going to cut off a bit at a time. And I'm just going to use this and lay it on the glue and I'm gonna do my largest shape first. And try to stick it in there. And then have it go all the way around, making sure that it keeps the shape that I have there. Now this is a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut it so I don't have too much of that extra yarn hanging off. And I can use this other piece for something different. This is actually kind of perfect in length for his little fin or his little leg, I guess. And then I can cut a few other pieces to do the other ones. That one might be a little bit too short. So I lay this on top and turn this one here. Do the same thing with this. And if I make it just a little bit too long like I did here, I can always trim it. But I do wanna keep it on the glue. And then since I have these two shorter pieces that I couldn't use before, maybe one of these I can put as this fin. And the other one can be the bottom part of that same fin. And then trim it again. And the last thing I need is going to be my head. So I'm going to place this here and gently go around. And again, anywhere where it's too long, I'm just gonna trim it off. And now this, I'm going to put on the drying rack and it should be ready for the next step.